North Korea fired a ballistic missile toward the Sea of Japan on Sunday. The North said Sunday it had tested super large multiple rocket launchers on both days, with three shells precisely hitting a target on Saturday to demonstrate their combat performance. This has resulted to Tokyo to lodge a protest with North Korea via the Japanese embassy in Beijing over the latest launch. Lino with the report. See, it is unusual for the North to launch a missile on New Year Day. Korean Central News Agency also said the super large rocket launcher system is capable of carrying tactical nuclear warheads and has all of South Korea within its range. Japanese Defense Minister Yasukazu Hamada said the projectile flew some 350 kilometers at a maximum altitude of around 100 kilometers and appears to have fallen outside Japanese exclusive economic zone. No damage to aircraft or shift has been reported. Moreover, the U.S. Indo-Pacific Command said the latest missile firing alongside three launches conducted less than 24 hours earlier highlighted the destabilizing impact of Pyongyang, a lawful weapon of mass destruction and ballistic missile program. Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida instructed officials to civilly provide necessary information to the public to ensure the safety of aircraft and ships and to prepare for contingencies. On the other hand, U.S. President Joe Biden will hold talk with Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida at the White House on January 13 to discuss North Korean, Ukraine, Chinese tension with Taiwan and free and open Indo-Pacific. The two leaders will discuss a range of regional and global issues including the Democratic People's Republic of Koreans and local weapons of mass destruction and ballistic missile programs, Russian brutal war against Ukraine, and maintaining peace and stability across Taiwan Strait. Biden will renew his support for Japanese presidency of the G7 and its mandate as a non-permanent member of the UN Security Council. Kishida won last summer at a summit with Biden in Japan that Chinese ambition to take back the island of Taiwan could fare into a new project, Ukraine today and maybe East Asian tomorrow. In its largest defense shake-up in decades, Japan vowed increased security spending to 2% of GDP by 2027, reshape its military command and acquire new missile that can strike far-long enemy launch sites.